لكن تحديت الظروف وخذتها وحدي صبورا مستعينا بالصلاة كم مرة عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أساه محرمت وكم كرهت مصابها شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمة الله عليه نريت ان افنت اوكي نريت ان افنت يعني it shows you know the the basira that he had, the insight that he has, and how his methodology was in total opposition to the bandits of Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab and his likes. And Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab was a Tukfinian and radical. As you can see on screen, we've got the book Minhaj al-Sunnah Nabawiyah by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullah alayhi. And he mentioned, subhanAllah al-Azim, listen to this, subhanAllah, very profound, very powerful, and clearly shows how Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah is so different is not on the same wavelength as uh, the takfiri radical Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab and his likes. May Allah forgive Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab. He mentions, وَقَدْ عُلِمَا أَنَّهُ كَانَ بِالسَّاحِدِ الشَّامِ Jabal Kabir. He mentions that it is known, okay, it is known that on the seaside of Sham, there's a, a, a big mountain. فِيهِ أُلُوفْ مِنَ الرَّافِدَةِ يَسْفِكُونَ الدِّمَاءِ That it's inhabited Okay, or thousands of Rafida reside there and they went about spilling the blood, okay, of the people. What else did they do? And they took their wealth. They took their wealth, okay? And it mentions they killed so many people, okay, and they took their belongings as well. So the Rafida, okay, uh, live in this seaside, close to the seaside, the Sahil. Uh, it could be the area similar to where Bashar uh, lives. I think it's where, where does he live? Um, I forgot where he lives now. It's come to my head. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. La Taqiyya, I think he is. I think he's, he's from that region, isn't he? And then he mentions, وَلَمَّا إِنْكَصَرَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ سَنَةَ الْغَزَّانِ Okay? That when the Muslims were defeating the year of Ghazan, okay, they, they took their horses, meaning um, the Rafida, and their, uh, what's it called, uh, prisoners, and they sold them to the Kuffar, I mean the Nasara in Cyprus, okay, in Cyprus. And they took whoever passed by them in terms of um, the army. So basically they took whoever from the Muslims passed by them from the army. And they were, and they were proving more harmful for the Muslims than their enemies, meaning the Rafida. And it mentions that some of their leaders started carrying the, the raya, meaning the, the, the flag of the Nasara, of the Christians. Look at this, look at Allah Azim. Shocking, isn't it? And then it mentions, وَقَالُوا لَهُ And it is said to him, which one is better? Okay? Al-Muslimun or Al-Nasara? Is the Muslims better or the Christians? So this is the, the Rafida. This is one of the Rafidis. And he replied, فَقَالَ بَلِ Nasara, Meaning, the Nasara, the Christians are better. Meaning then, Ali Sunnah wal Jama'a. So then he, 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 and he was asked of him, or it was said to him, Who will you be raised with on the Day of Judgment? فَقَالَ مَعَ النَّصَارَ I'll be raised with the Nasara. This is the sort of, you know, betrayal. فَلِّمُوا إِلَيْهِمْ And he gave over some of the lands of the Muslims. So he also even handed lands of the Muslims to the uh, Salibiyin, the Nasara. Subhanallah al-Adhi. And then he mentions, Ibn Taymiyyah, he said, وَكَتَبْتُ جَوَابًا مَبْسُوطًا He said, I wrote a detailed answer, okay, a detailed answer in going out and doing a ghazwa against them. Subhanallah. So what happened? Look at this. So Ibn Taymiyyah mentions that he went to them and they had discussion and debates and he goes, it's, it's going to prove long if I mention it. And then he mentions, فَلَمَّا فَتَحَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ بَلَدَهُمْ That when the Muslims opened their territory, so now this Rafidi who went, who slaughtered many, who took their wealth, who went to the Nasara in Cyprus, you know, gave over the lands, said that the Nasara are better than the Muslims, meaning Ali Sunnah, etc., uh, etc. Et what happened? When the Muslims entered now, they conquered them. What happened? And then the Muslims basically um, had power over them, okay? Had power over them. What did Ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullah alayhi do? Look at this, this would absolutely shock you. Look at the basira of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. He prevented from killing them, okay? And taking them as captives. Wow! Subhanallah al-Azim. He prevented from killing them and taking them as captives. These are the same people that gave up the lands of the Muslims, 
that basically sold their, 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 their wealth and their possessions to the Nasara in Cyprus and Ibn Taymiyyah prevented from taking them as captives and even killing them. So what happened? Subhanallah And then Ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullah ends by saying وَأَنزَلْنَاهُمْ فِي بِلَادِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ مُتَفَرِّقِينَ he says that we made them basically, these are the same Rafid, the Rawafid, that they made them settle in different uh, parts of the Muslim lands so that they cannot basically congregate or they cannot unite again. Subhanallah al -Azim. So this is Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah. I got a video to do. Uh, basically, um, Sultan al Sheikh Sultan al Amiri, Hafidullah, wrote a full book about how Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah viewed the Rafidah, and it's clear how he was different to. Um, the دعوه النجدي the radical and the extreme ليس الغريب غريب الشام واليمن ان الغريب غريب الاحد والكفن ان الغريب له حق لغربته على المقيم في الاوطان والسكن سفر بعيد وزاد لا يبلغني وقوتي ضعفت والموت يطلبني ما احلم الله عني حيث امهلني وقد تماديت في ذنب ويسترني تمر ساعه 